Hi everyone, I am Jack Red. Today I'm reviewing a collection that's not really revealed by a lot of people. And the obvious reason is the franchise has better games in the later generations. And yeah. Anyway, um, if you played some franchises, you know they had to start somewhere. And sometimes they had to take a specific angle, and then they go into another one that just shocks everyone. Fallout had that with Fallout 3. And Gretel had that with Gretel 3. Of course, I am talking about Gretel Auto, and I'm talking about Gretel Auto, the classics collection. To clarify, Greta uh, London on here is actually the first one, London 1969. Sadly, having the original in this one, you cannot download London 1961, aka the Black Sheep of Greta Auto. So, <laughs> with that being said, these games feel a little awkward playing them, because you're basically like, you're looking at the screen, you have the camera angles at a bird eye angle and sometimes trying to play can confuse you. Yeah, if you know, like, the codes are, you can actually name your character the codes and actually activate them in the game. Pr pretty much mean, you don't have to, like, do missions after missions just to get everything. You can just put in the code and there you go, you got it. Sadly, though, I, I feel with the current timeline of Gratel that eventually Gratel 2, which is set in the year 2013, is going to be topped and no longer be the end of the timeline. So I wanted to review this as it still is at the end of the timeline. Um, the first game is basically you have your original three cities. Liberty City, Vice City, and San Andreas. I'll be honest with you, I did not really care about San Andreas. And Grand Theft San Andreas, it has some good things in it, but there are just things in the game I just despise it. So I gotta say, I wasn't a big fan of that, but Grand Theft 4 was just more of the game I like, you know, and that's why I prefer Gretel 4 over San Andreas. I know a lot of people are going to probably get pissed at that, but I don't really care. I think Gretel 4 is better than San Andreas. And I'm pretty sure many people agree with me. Some of you are going to be like, oh, fuck you, you know, but no. I'm not going to stand for that crap, so. The original Gretel Auto, you pretty much start in, I think, Love Your City, and then after you've done all the missions, you go to Vice City, and then you, when you're done with all the missions, you go to San Andreas. Personally, I'm a big fan of Gretel 3 and Vice City. I played them. I played Liberty City stories because I was a big fan of Liberty City. I like New York. I've never been there. I heard it's a horrible place. Well, I heard it's not that pleasant of a place. Sorry if I far fresh New York like that. I deeply apologize for everyone living in New York. I didn't mean to offend everyone that lived there. What I'm trying to say is it's not too pleasant. Anyway, um, and then everyone knows that Vice City is based on Florida, and then um, San Andreas is based on California. And then of course London is London. So. Grand Theft Auto 2 is anywhere city. That's my first question about Grand Theft Auto 2. Anywhere city. Oh, okay, how big is the city? You know, and it turns out the city is pretty much broken into three sections. And sadly, I do not recall what these three sections are, but it kind of plays like the original and the two expansions, from my um, power knowledge. And the series kind of falls this onward. For instance, in Grand Theft Auto, you start in Portland, then you go to Southern Island, and then you go to Shore Shores Island, or wherever the place is. And, yeah, it's basically in order of the place you unlock in that game. I haven't played Grand Theft Auto in a while, and I have trouble remembering the third Iowan's name, so I do fully apologize for that. But, um, Cheat and Grenzel really came a long way. Think about it this way. It changed from passwords to button codes to now cell phone numbers. Isn't that surprising? I mean, what I like about the original Grenzel and the expansion to, the, uh, to that game is you got a whole bunch of characters you can play as. And it does have a lot of story, but for the most part, the story isn't like all that important. So, <clears throat> I'm saying it's a good story, but it's just one of those storylines that if you're a certain person, you're like, oh, I don't really care about it. So, with that pretty much being said, um, uh, Red Doll 2, I found out about it when um, a friend of mine came over and actually showed me the PlayStation version. He actually told me as I was going to, you know, try it out that the game actually doesn't work, and for some reason it doesn't get past the loading screen, so. 
Yeah, it's a pretty decent one. Um, I'm actually going to show you the back to this really fast. I hope you see it. Now, I am aware that um, Grand Del Dree, San Andreas, and Play City are in Grand Del Dree Trilogy. You know, I was surprised they actually did that. And it, and the sad thing is, they didn't do this, you know, too long after Grand Del Dree Double Pack, which is just pretty much Play City and Dree together. So yeah, they're trying to make money off of these games, <laughs> you know, and here's my question. Here is probably one of the hardest poisons that Rockstar will ever get. Looking at these Gratzel games, can you ever expect that one day they will probably go back to this angle, you know, for um, handheld and make it like flat out good, you know, make it like really addicting, you know, make it like something that, that you never thought it was going to be, but it, it's going to be that. Now, I know what some of you are probably thinking, you know, like, didn't they kind of do this with Gratzel Advance? Well, yeah, they kind of did. I'm tr what I'm trying to get is, why couldn't they go back to the angle one more time and throw in some crazy shit? You know, give us the original cheats, yet have it like really insane, have it like updated to like a Grand Del 4, you know, and do some crazy shit. You know, make it like one of the best. I know what you're, some of you are probably thinking, oh, that's a shitty idea for a game. I would like to play Grand Del 4, San Andreas with that shit. Just hear me out on this. Some people might not dislike the bird eye angle, though people like me probably think, you know, that the bird eye angle was kind of awkward and at times got a little confusing. But with that being said, this isn't a bad question. It is definitely one of my personal favorites, and um, I'm kind of disappointed that not a lot of people that are fans of Gretel actually acknowledge these games. In fact, I'm pretty sure like some franchises like Madden and and this that most people who play them don't even like acknowledge the other ones anymore. They're like, oh, they're like, they're like the new stuff, and then when the more popular one comes out, it's like, okay, next. So a lot of gamers are like that. I actually met a guy in this program who liked current gaming, and he hated the old stuff. It's like, don't you like old stuff, you son of a bitch, you know, it's, you know, it's like that. Anyway. It has some awesome cheats in these games. It's a long list. I'm not sure if it's longer than I would say the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy list. But I'm pretty sure it's a pretty damn long list. It will take you probably longer to try out all the codes. Due to the fact you have to leave out your game and rename your character with the code. But and with that being said, at least you know it will stay in your save and it will not affect it. Losing stuff. Like in the later Grand Theft Auto, Strong with Grand Theft Auto 3. So, there's a good advantage right there. I don't really notice this problem anymore with Grand Theft 4. But it might still be around with the later Grand Thalls. With that being said, I'm Jack Red. I hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, Grand Theft Auto is now the most controversial video game series of all time. See y'all later.